Welcome to St. Hillis College. St. Hillis is another residence building here at Trinity. It used to be all female and now it's co-ed. Another interesting feature about St. Hilda's is the fact that it has kitchenettes on every floor. In previous years, I had a few friends who lived on residence and they would invite me over and would make some tasty meals together and it was pretty fun. Another interesting fact, all common room spaces are named after women of college who left a significant impact on Trinity. Next up, we have Melinda Seaman, which is a popular hangout spot among students and it's great for group study. This year, Melinda Seaman is also a space for students to eat their meals as well as sit and study. Apart from that, Melinda Seaman is also a uh, location of the NRAC common room. NRAC stands for Non-Residence Affairs Committee, which is a student group that represents all non-resident students here at Trinity. This year, all non-resident programming is virtual. Next up, we have the Rigby Room, which is another common room space here at St. Hilda's. Usually during the day, the Rigby Room serves as a classroom space, but it is also a bookable space for a uh, student in the evening. Uh, many clubs and student organizations host their meetings here. For example, Trinity Review organizes and hosts their readings in this room. The Stedman Library is a dedicated quiet space here at St. Hilda's, which is open 24 hours a day. It is my favorite uh, study space here at Trinity. I like it because it's so small and it has leather couches, which make it super cozy. The Stedman Library is also popular among other students and it tends to get pretty busy during the midterm season. Up next, we have Adam's Room, which is usually a bookable space, but this year, due to the pandemic, the space is being used by the facilities. In previous years, the Adam's Room was a place where various student governance meetings would take place. In instances where the space uh, does not hold any meetings, students are free to come in and study here. Our next stop is the Green Roof, which is a student-initiated space and an amazing environmental venture. Other sustainability measures here at Trinity College include solar panels on the roof of the Larkin Building, gardens on the Green Roof, and uh, beehives on top of the Henderson Tower. Just like the Trinity College Quad, the Green Roof is an amazing place dedicated for students to enjoy during the warmer months. I personally love studying and hanging out with my friends on the Green Roof when it's warm out and it's very nice and cozy. So that wraps up our tour of St. Hilda's. Make sure to check out other tour videos as well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!